I grew up in a Bible-believing household. My mom uh, was saved, my dad, in and out. And I felt like everybody felt like they had to believe in something, so they kind of chose whatever they would believe in and go that way. Well, it wasn't for me, at least that's how I felt. And then later in my life, um, I had a dream. In this dream, I was doing the kind of things I was doing then. Some of them weren't right. And it was almost like um, God was showing me time-lapse photography or something on my life. And I seen myself go from being a person working, responsible, conscientious, and all that kind of stuff, to getting to a place where I really didn't care. And I ended up losing my job. I was, you know, dirty and shoes worn out and all that. And all I wanted to do was be with my friends and get high. And when I had awakened from that dream, I determined that's not what I wanted my life to be like. I felt then and now that there was more to me and more in me than what that dream showed. And it was almost like if I stayed on the path I was on, that was going to be my end. I ended up going to church. There's a 16-year-old preacher, evangelist. I'm about 19 at the time, and he's preaching, and man, I, I, I felt it. And I'm way in the back, and when he made a, a call you know, to accept Christ, I, I just couldn't get off the seat. It's almost like something was holding me there. Well, I made up my mind. The next time the service was going to happen, which was the following week, I think that was a Friday night, the following week it was going to be at a different church. So I determined I was going to go there. I went and I surrendered my life to Christ in that service. That was April 1st, 1975. And uh, my life has never been the same since.